Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you're new here, I hope you will stick around and subscribe. In today's video, I pulled out a few of my Revlon lipsticks. I feel like these used to be talked about on the internet like years ago, but I don't hear anything about these anymore. And these are some of my favorite lipstick formulas. Um, and I just wanted to give them some love. So I have I have seven different shades. I'm going to swatch these on my hand and I'm also going to swatch these on my lips so that you can see them. I looked these up and right now these normally retail for $9.99. They're on sale for $6.99 and on top of sales that they run like at Ulta or drugstores or wherever you can use coupons on top of that. So you can get these for a really affordable price. Now let's talk about the packaging. It's nothing special, but I love that you can actually see the color of the lipstick through the top. Also on the bottom, the sticker on the bottom of these is like the shade. And I love that. Super, I mean, it's just simple packaging. Um, I don't smell anything. But for whatever reason, I used to think that these smelled. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm thinking of something different, but I don't smell anything. It has been a while since I've worn these, but you cannot beat it at the drugstore. Literally, like, Revlon and Maybelline were my brands. And I think these are so comparable to high-end. Again, this is the Revlon. This is the Super Lustrous Formula. That is what all of these are that I'm going to be talking about specifically. So let's go ahead and start swatching these. The one I'm going to start off with first is actually like a very, very nude color. You need a lip liner with this one. I will say that this one is a matte and this one is 001 Nude Attitude. And it is, like I said, a very, very nude color. You can wear a lip liner and put this on and put some gloss on that looks beautiful you could also put a dark lipstick on and then center this right in the middle and kind of smudge it out and it'll give you kind of that like ombre type of effect love that and that's really mainly what i used this for but i'm gonna go ahead put on some lip liner and show you guys what this looks like all right so all i did was line my lips with mac spice lip liner and as you can tell, very nude. But like I said, the main thing I used this for was like spotlight in the center of the lips. I mean, this is a very concealer type of a color. But as you can tell, this is what it looks like with a lip liner. And then if you put a gloss on top, it really does look nice. I will show you what that looks like. So this is some of my Lawless Forget the Filler. And I feel like the lip gloss really helps out the situation. Just makes it pop a little bit more, look a little bit more smooth and perfected. But yeah, this on its own is not my favorite. I like it mixed in with other shades or even liquid lipsticks. This is a really good mix in for that. All right, next up, this one was one of my favorites. This was Smoked Peach. Oh man, I love lipstick shades like this and blush shades. So pretty. And I feel like this is such a good one for spring and summer as well. All right, I brought you guys in a little bit closer so you could really see what these look like. Next up is Pink in the Afternoon. And again, this one was one of my favorites. Such a pretty, pretty color. Hmm. Right, and this is what that one looks like. This is just like a really like warm type of a pink shade. This one is one of my most worn. This one is called Primrose and it is just like this cool pink shade. I love it so much. That is what it looks like there. I 
I love this one so, so much. All right, we've got three left. Next up, this again. I would say other than Primrose, this is probably my most worn. This one is called Rum Raisin. Like, I would say this one is the most worn. I had this in a different part of my collection even. This is such a pretty color. Oh my god. When I am wearing like a red, this is the type of color that I go for typically. It's just a little bit more neutral, a little bit more muted. I love this for like the fall time. I think it is so pretty. And again, this formula, it's pigmented, it's smooth, it's moisturizing, it's comfortable. I feel like it hangs around for a while. Obviously, it will wear off. It's not like a liquid lipstick that is going to dry down completely. But mm, this shade right here. I love this one as well. This one is actually a pearl formula and this one is called Plum Baby. Again, I just love shades like this. I love cool tones in general. Oh, uh, this is it. All right, and this is what that one looks like. Again, this is one of my most used shades. I would say Plum Baby, Rum Raisin, and Primrose. Those are probably my most worn. And oddly enough, those were all done right in a row here. So absolutely love those. Our last shade is the darkest one. I definitely planned this out. Um, because this one, I think this one does stain pretty quickly. This one is called Black Cherry. And this is it here. This is just such a vampy shade. Again, love this one for like the fall. There it is there. And I think this is supposed to be like a dupe for, is it Urban Decay Black Cherry or something like that? I don't know. It's a dupe for something. I can't remember what. You need a lip liner for this one. Like I messed that up. Um, this again, just not my favorite color, honestly. Not my favorite color, but if you were gonna be a vampire or something for Halloween, I think this would be a really pretty shade or just like an every once in a while type of a shade. Um, but I feel like it can travel. You definitely need to wear a lip liner and then still I feel like it makes my teeth look god awful and I don't like that you kind of have to monitor shades like this like you saw I couldn't just put it on without a mirror like I needed a mirror for this one and I just worry about it like getting on my teeth getting on my clothes I don't know I am not the biggest fan of this color but I do love the way that it looks like when it's actually done and applied I do like the way it looks but yeah, that is all of the shades, guys. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see this with some other brands? I've done this with a few, but there are several more that I could do this with. Let me know if you guys enjoy this type of content. I hope that you have a good day or night wherever you are watching this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.